Today in Perth, the court will hear the case of Diana Violet Coco, an environmental activist who was arrested after allegedly spray-painting the Woodside logo on Perth Police Headquarters. Coco traveled to Western Australia to stand in solidarity with protesters who are opposing the development of the Burra Peninsula. Coco was detained on Wednesday night and charged with one count of criminal damage. Coco's lawyer, Zara Burgess, questioned the approach of police in opposing bail for those charged. She said it is part of an increasing police crackdown with some individuals being unfairly targeted. On Tuesday, WA Police Commissioner Carl Blanche defended the treatment of journalist Eliza Closer, who had her home searched and equipment seized during an investigation into a protest. Closer was at her home in Karata when police knocked on the door and said they were executing a warrant. Closer said she had no prior knowledge of the alleged planned disruption and had never been involved in activism. The media director of the Media, Entertainment and Arts Alliance, Cassie Derrick, said the execution of the warrant was disturbing. Today in court, Diana Violet Coco will face one charge of criminal damage and will answer to the WA police crackdown with regard to environmental activists.